Today on Leon's Garage Adventures, intercooler. Inner spooler. Is that thing gonna be thick enough? Hmm, I don't know. You know what? I think I like this much better. <laughs> she thick, Mr. Cubington. Yeah, so the new dimensions on this are 10.2 by nine by nine inches thick. Thick. She thick. So we couldn't go very long and we couldn't do it like a conventional one up front. So I figured what's better than making it long? Just make it fatter. Definitely due to space restrictions in the Fiero. There's not a whole lot of places this could go without extreme fabrication. Also, I didn't want to do air to water because I didn't want to mess with it. Right, so for everybody that was going to say that in the comments, please don't. <laughs> you can if you want, <laughs> I'm gonna ignore it. Uh, also, an advantage to doing it this way, besides the extra fabrication required to combine them, it's way cheaper. Oh yeah, because we were going to get a six inch one, uh, same dimensions, and it was $500, and this way it was like 280 Yeah, definitely under 300 bucks. We're just going to weld these all the way around and then build some end tanks and be done. Cool. Yep.
what do you want from me? Voila, it's done. It's two o'clock in the morning. That was like a million hours of welding. <laughs> the headers coming up into the collector, into the turbo, turbo down the exhaust, and then on the cold side, connects to a three inch vibra clamp up into a three inch clamp into the first end tank. It's a dual core setup into another end tank, into a four inch clamp, a few pie cuts up into the four inch vibrant clamp, into the 102 millimeter throttle body, into the custom Fiero intake. Dude, it's amazing. I'm tired. Thanks for watching this episode. Uh, the next episode, maybe we can get this thing fired up. Andrew over there, tell him we're going to the dyno. We're not going to the dyno yet. <laughs> Peace out.